name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Today is a very special day today. Today is a solemnity, the solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul, the two people that Christ sent into the world to really spread his church to all of us. And we rejoice in them. And we try to continue to spread God's church everywhere and to live it in our hearts. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, 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 Holy Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father, amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord our God, that we may be sustained by the intercession of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, that as through them you gave your church the foundations of her heavenly office, so through them you may help her to eternal salvation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the Beautiful Gate every day to beg for alms from the, alms from the people who entered the temple. When he saw Peter and John about to go into the temple, he asked for alms. But Peter looked intently at him as did John and said, look at me. He paid attention to them, expecting to receive something from them. Peter said, I have neither silver nor gold, but what I do have I give you in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene. Rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leapt up, stood and walked around, and went into the temple area with them, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw the man walking and praising God, they recognized him as the one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with amazement and astonishment of what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our responsorial psalm is, their message goes out through all the earth. Yeah. Their, their message, message goes, goes out, out through all, all the earth. earth. The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. Day pours out the word to day, and night to night imports knowledge. Their message goes out through all the earth. Not a word nor a discourse whose voice is not heard. Through all the earth their voice resounds, and to the ends of the world their message. Their message goes out through all the earth. A second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. I want you to know, brothers and sisters, that the gospel preached by me is not of human origin, for I did not receive it from a human being, nor was I taught it, but it came through a revelation of Jesus Christ. For you heard of my former ways of life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it and progressed in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries of my race, since I was even more a zealot for my ancestral traditions. But when God, who from my mother's womb had set me apart and called me through his grace, 
uh, was pleased to reveal his son to me so that I might proclaim him to the Gentiles. I did not immediately count flesh and consult flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem. To those who were apostles before me, rather I went into Arabia and then returned to Damascus. There, after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to confer with Cephas and remain with him for 15 days. But I did not see any other apostles, only James, the brother of the Lord. As to what... Okay, okay. As to what I am writing to you, behold, before God, I am not lying. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Can we stand for the gospel explanation, please? Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia. Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus had revealed himself to his disciples, and when they had finished breakfast, said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. He then said to Simon Peter a second time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Simon Peter answered him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. He said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was distressed that he had said to him a third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my sheep. Amen, amen, I say to you. When you were younger, you used to dress yourself and go where you wanted. But when you grow old, you will stretch out your hands, and someone else will dress you and lead you where you do not want to go. He said this, signifying by what kind of death he would glorify God. And when he had said this, he said, Follow me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus. May our sins be wiped away. So today we celebrate. It's not a memorial. It's not a feast. Today is a solemnity, even higher than that. The solemnity of Saints Peter and Paul. Because it was among people, it was St. Peter and St. Paul who brought us our faith. And of course, through the workings of the Holy Spirit, throughout space and throughout time. Simon Peter was given the keys to the kingdom. He, he was named Simon and Peter. Uh, uh, Jesus changed his name to Peter, which means rock. And he said, upon this rock I shall build my church. And the powers of hell shall not stand against it. And uh, Peter was given the responsibility of being the leader of the apostles and to lead the efforts on earth of, of spreading Jesus and his church. First to the Jews, build the foundation. When you build a building, you, you start from the bottom and you build it strong so that it will stand. And then the rest come and, and build and extend from there. And the Jews were the foundation of the church. And so he was told to work first with the Jews and to build Christ's church there. And then, and then Paul was called. And he was a great opponent of the Christians. And he hunted them down, and he arrested them, he jailed them, and he killed them because he was a Pharisee. And the Pharisees believed that the Christ will come, the, the Messiah would come when all the Jews are following the law of the Lord to the letter. And that's what they fought for, to, to make sure everyone followed the law of, the, of God from Moses to the letter. Not so much even by their intentions of the law, but to the letter of the law. Until Jesus himself came to him, 
the risen Jesus, the Jesus who had ascended to his throne in heaven, came to him, knocked him off his horse, and showed him who he truly was. And he himself called Paul to lead his church into the world, to teach all of us about the faith because God tends to work naturally, although he didn't work that naturally with Paul. He infused Paul with knowledge of the church. As we heard today, Paul, after a few years, went to meet with St. Peter. And St. Peter supported him that everything that Jesus had taught him miraculously infused him with the knowledge of Christ's life and Christ's church. Peter agreed with, yeah, yeah, we did that, yes. That's the mass. Yes, that's everything. So he supported what uh, Paul was doing. And part of it surprised him that he was being sent to the Gentiles. But Peter himself, after the foundation was laid amongst the Jews, he was also extending himself to the Gentiles in the world and embracing them in God's faith, in the faith in God. And so we thank St. Peter and St. Paul for giving their lives for us and spreading the knowledge and the faith of the salvation that God has given us. And we continue to show our gratitude by continuing to extend that faith in ourselves and the way we live and in our brothers and sisters, in our families, in our communities, and in the world. To spread that kindness, to spread that truth, to spread the knowledge of the salvation that God gives us and to never let it stop growing. The Lord who delivered Peter from prison has power over every circumstance of our lives. We, with confidence in his goodness, let us offer our prayers this day. For the Holy Father, may God continue to bless him in preaching the gospel and teaching the ways of discipleship. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For elected officials, may God give them a sort of uh, a spirit of humility and generosity in, in leadership. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who struggle with disabilities, may God give them strength in their hardships. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For members of our faith community of Our Lady of Lords here and around the world, may God fill our hearts with his love that we may joyfully proclaim the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For all who have finished the race and passed from this life, may Christ award them the crown of righteousness. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord And we offer this Mass today in a special way for Maria de Fernandez and for Walter Kleiman, or Kleeman, that God may pour his blessings upon them and embrace them in his love forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord and as always, we pray for all the holy souls in purgatory. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, please hear and answer our prayers in your wisdom. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, who will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice in our hands 
for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. We bring offerings to your altar, O Lord, as we glory in the solemn feast of the blessed apostles Peter and Paul, so that the more we doubt our own merits, the more we may rejoice that we are to be saved by your loving kindness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For by your providence, the blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, bring us joy. Peter, foremost in, con pardon me, in confessing the faith, Paul, its outstanding preacher. Peter, who established the early church from the remnant of Israel. Paul, master and teacher of the Gentiles that you call. And so, each in a different way, gathered together the one family of Christ and revered together throughout the world, they share one martyr's crown. And therefore, with all the angels and saints, we praise you, as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. <clears throat> In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and John, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ bring eternal life to us who receive him. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world. Free me by this, your most holy body and blood, from all my sins and from every evil. Keep me always faithful to your commandments, and never let me be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Keep the body of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. May the blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life. The body of Christ. The body of Christ. Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Thank you. 
What has passed our lips as food, O Lord, may we possess in purity of heart, that what has been given to us in time may be our healing for eternity. Let us pray. Grant us, O Lord, who have been renewed by this sacrament, so to live in the church that persevering in the breaking of the bread and in the teaching of the apostles, we may be one heart and one soul, made steadfast in your love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the love and peace of God. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, all the evil spirits that prowl about the world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Emberare, remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided. Inspired with this confidence, we fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To thee do we come, before thee we stand, sinful and sorrowful. O oh, Mother of the Word incarnate, despise not our petitions, but in your mercy hear and answer them. Amen. Our Lady of Lords, pray, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Amen.